guys, this is our final week of the art challenge and we got an awesome prize for our final art challenge. So for you here, I have this sketchbox table easel and this is way cool, especially if you like doing art outside because you can store all your supplies inside here. The top lid flips up and makes an easel for you and you can just carry it around with the handle. It's a really cool set and this would be mailed out to you or delivered to you if you win this week's art challenge. So, let me set this down real quick. Okay. So let's draw the name for last week's art challenge for those art journals you guys did. They are super cool. A lot of really unique entries. I'm proud of you guys on this. All right. Okay. Okay. Mackenzie P. All right, Mackenzie P. I will send an email to your family and we'll get in contact so I can get your painting set sent out to you. All right, so for this week, we are going to do a project where you take a picture that is really small, which is called the micro, and we're going to enlarge it to make it really big. So you'll go from little to big. And you can do it with any supplies. I did this one with marker. This one was with pastels. You could do colored pencil. You could even just draw it with regular pencil or pen. Whatever you'd like to do, your approach is up to you. So um, let's just get started on it. To make this photograph macro, I'm going to focus on just one section of it for me to draw. I'm going to then measure out 3 inches by 2 inches and that will be the size I need to make my grid. First I will mark my inch segments and then I will go back through and do every half inch right in between. Next I'm going to do the same thing going up 2 inches. I will mark my inch segments and then my half inches in between. You will repeat these steps until you've done half inch segments all the way around creating a rectangle that is 2 inches by 3 inches. Once you have all of your marks made, you're going to make lines going from the top to the bottom connecting the dots that you've created every half inch. Next you will do the same thing going from side to side connecting your dots. Once you have completed drawing your grid, you are going to cut out the outside lines of your rectangle. Next I am going to create a grid on my drawing paper by folding it. First you will want to fold long ways, bringing the top down to the bottom and making a crease. Then you'll fold it in half again to create one long piece. Open it back up so you have four sections that match the four sections on your grid. Now you're going to fold your paper in half, bringing the two shorter sides together and creasing in the center. We'll open it up, but this time we're only going to fold the paper halfway to the center line so that the folded side and the space between the folded side and the center are the same size. Now you're going to flip your paper over and fold that folded edge to the center line to create your second fold so you'll have three spaces on that side. Now you're going to repeat the same steps on the other side of your paper. Remember you want the space on the folded side to be the same width as the space on the side between the centered line. Now flip over and you'll fold the folded edge to the center again. Once you flip over, you'll see that you have six spaces all together going across. And those six spaces will match the six spaces that you've drawn on your grid of your picture. Now we get to draw our picture inside our grids. My approach to grid drawing is kind of like creating my own connect the dots. I'll look at my picture and see where the object I'm drawing crosses with the grid lines that I've created. Then I find the same spot on my drawing paper grid and mark the spot where the object I'm drawing crosses with the grid lines. 
I repeat this step for every square in my grid. Grid drawing is a great technique for making sure that your object is the right size and in the right location on your paper. Before I color it in, I like to go over all the lines I've created to smooth them out so they don't look so straight and geometric. All that's left now is just adding in a few extra details and now coloring it in. All right, I hope you guys got some good ideas for the pictures you'd like to use for this week's art challenge. So remember, you need to enter the contest by May 15th, 2020, and you can email me at lepetitateliernb at gmail.com, or you can tag it on Instagram, hashtag lepetitartchallenge.